Welcome to the demonstration of the Divider Web application. This is part 2 of the demo dealing with how to build and manage dynamic topic models in Divider. Part 1 dealt with visual analytics of existing dynamic topic models, so if you haven't seen part 1 yet, you'll probably want to go see that first. What's a dynamic topic model? It is a model that reveals the topics hidden in a large collection of text documents, and it tells you also how those topics have evolved over time. That's very useful, and luckily there are some tools that build dynamic topic models for you. But unfortunately, most of those tools either cost a lot of money, are completely unusable, come with an expensive consultant, or they are made for researchers and professionals. As you will see in this live demo, the Divider Topic Model Control Panel is the most convenient way of easy building and managing dynamic topic models with a few mouse clicks. Let's see how it works. I'm now logged in as an administrator in Divider, and this is why I have access to the control panel. So the control panel uh, allows us to build and manage the topic models and uh, the database stuff in the background. Of course, to build a topic model, one has to fetch data from some data source and to feed it into the topic modeling library. And to illustrate this, we will uh, take the example we had in the first part of the demo, the Proceedings of the ACM Conference on Information and Knowledge Management, also called SICKM. And I will show you uh, how the topic model of SICKM that we explored in the other demo video was built with a few mouse clicks in, the, in this uh, control panel. So we have two tabs here, the Tool Server and the General tab. Tool Server is the more interesting thing. Uh, it's a yeah, runtime environment uh, that we developed for Divider. It's a simple Java executable that listens on some port uh, of some machine to communicate with uh, this control panel. Uh, here we have one default tool server at our department, but uh, of course you could add any uh, number of tool servers also outside of your <coughs> local network. So the tool server manages so-called execution chain, and an execution chain is a chain of tools that transforms one input into some output that again will be input to another tool and so forth. And each tool has a, a role in the construction of the topic model. There are some tools that are required for building the topic model, for instance uh, Dynamic LDA and some others, but in addition each tool chain at the beginning typically has some tools that fetch the data from the actual uh, data source and transform those data into a format that is digestible for the topic modeling algorithms. Let's now see how to construct and invoke such a tool chain. Um, we already have some uh, templates available here, but for the sake of this demo, we will create a new one by clicking this plus icon here. Okay, we can now see the work bench for execution chain templates. We can simply call it a tool chain designer. It allows us to use the tools available at this tool server and to arrange those tools in a tool chain. So you see we already have some tools available like the dynamic LDA for topic modeling, uh, DBLP conference crawler that obtains um, paper metadata from uh, the publisher website via the DBLP index and some other things that are needed to construct a topic model from the source data. So for our SICKM topic model we will need a tool that crawls the DBLP page of SICKM, goes to the SICKM digital library or to the ACM digital library for each paper, scrapes the abstracts, the authors, the title and so forth. And this is actually offered by the DBLP conference crawler tool which is a simple Ruby script that does the scraping. So I will just drag and drop it into this uh, designer area, into the designer canvas. And here we see how a tool is visualized in this designer. It has input parameters, it has a name, and it has output parameters. So this DBLP conference crawler takes a DBLP URL of a conference and an additional optional parameter with the years that should be uh, part of the topic model 
and it outputs a simple comma separated uh, list a file with one line per paper okay so what we see is we need two parameters to be provided by the user and this is done using these input parameters so the dplp url will be provided as a string and the conference years will also be provided as a string right now we only have two um, two different types of parameters which is a string and the sql connection also represented as a string that is can be used as input to provide the tool with a way to obtain data uh, not only from a, a text input but also from a SQL or relational database. <coughs> so after this uh, we need to create a raw database from this uh, paper's data. So and what we do is with the create raw database tool uh, takes three inputs, the paper data in CSV, which we just take the output of the DPLP conference crawler and link it here. Um, and also a table name and an analysis. So this is just to make sure that we have unique things in, in the database. So for the analysis uh, connection, we need a database connection that we will provide upon the start of this tool chain and the table name where the results will be stored should also be provided by the user. So and after that we run a preprocessor that uh, does some word stemming and uh, stop wording and uh, some other things. It prepares more or less the, the, the raw data. Um, then what we do with this is to run the dynamic LDA algorithm. So the preprocessor output is directly usable by the dynamic LDA algorithm. So this will do all the topic and word distribution processing. And after that we will need some tools for the um, for the front end to do some computation to allow fast access to ranking of topics and similar documents. Okay, so the the edges display is a bit strange, but still we can save this execution template like uh, DPLP conference uh, chain uh, fetches conference in a range of views oh, where we can rename this afterwards okay we can close it we refresh it here and now we have this dplp conference chain available for execution but before we do that i do not want to hide from you that we also need to provide some of the ugly details you probably remember in the tool chain this analysis input output thing it's basically a database connection that needs to be configured beforehand luckily I already did this so we just need to provide some uh, mapping of the fields and uh, some database connection details and of course we also need to provide information about the topic model here yeah? so the starting time slice in 2001 the, the end of the uh, dynamic topic model in 2014 and we have a granularity of one which means that each time slice is one year and we do want to have 20 topics uh, here so this is the configuration uh, that we can now use uh, for executing the tool chain so we select our tool chain um, click play and then you see we need to provide um sick um, papers model we need 
need to provide the URL to the Sikkim index page on DBLP and the range of years that uh, we want to crawl. I will do some copy and pasting here. So this is the DBLP page for Sikkim and we want to do 2001 to 2013. The reason is that before 2001 the metadata on the ACM digital library for Sikkim is uh, either incomplete or some parts are missing. For many years the abstracts are not available. Uh, so we start with 2001 and then um, we need to provide a database connection where all this is stored and some table name for the raw database I don't know, let's call it SIGM20 and then we click start and if we refresh it here we see that the toolchain is running uh, of course at first the conference crawler is running while the others are waiting uh, for their turn so we can always look at the output we see that our machine is quick in retrieving all the data this is frequently updated and once the conference crawler is complete uh, it will hand over the output to the create raw database uh, and also the database connection string that was provided in the beginning uh, will be used by raw database creation and, and so forth unfortunately even the crawling for 13-14 years of uh, conference papers will take uh, a couple of minutes like 15-20 minutes so uh, we will not wait for that of course so I will briefly interrupt this uh, and return when the model has been created so when the toolchain tool was execu executed until the end let's see whether something happens no it's still running here and it's not even 2013 ready yet so it will take some time so see you in a while okay we're back after a couple of hours we see that uh, our sig SIGM papers topic model chain has finished successfully um, all involved tools have finished have produced their output um, the paper crawler has crawled about 3000 uh, sets of items of metadata from the ACM digital library via DBLP uh, the other tools have also uh, produced their outputs and now this topic model is available so we can add it actually to the front end so that people can play with it, that people can explore it and we can do it here like available analysis for the front end uh, we can just add uh, the analysis with number 11 here so this is our SICM topic model uh, provide some additional text to be displayed and then people will be able to use it and to explore it in the front end which we have already done actually uh, in the first part of this demo so thanks for watching I hope you liked it and feel free to explore the tool <laughs>